Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 13th of 2020. Well, it is titled Mars, Pleiades and Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, we have an image taken in Turkey and in the foreground, we see an ancient tomb. So you can see an opening up there towards the top middle of the tomb there tomb here. And up above in the sky, we see a number of different objects, including Mars, the Pleiades and the Andromeda galaxy. So interestingly, we see things at vastly different distances here. Now, if you're wondering which is which, you can we can move the mouse over the image and that will identify where everything is in the image. And you can see Mars there right up above the tomb and Mars is right now very close to opposition when it is opposite the sun in the sky, which is around the time it is at its closest and brightest and largest as seen from the Earth. Now we never see Mars as anything other than a point of light unless you're using a telescope to be able to see it. So no matter how close and big it is, it's still too small to be able to be seen as a disk with the naked eye. Up above and to the left, we see the Pleiades star cluster. That is this open cluster of stars known as the Seven Sisters. And it has a number of bright blue stars that are there. And then over on the right hand side, we see the Andromeda galaxy, a much larger grouping of stars and much further away that we see. And while it may look comparable in size to the Pleiades, it is much larger because it is much further away. When we look at these objects, there is a big range in the distances, although you don't see that just by looking at them. Mars is relatively close to us, light only taking a few minutes to travel between Earth and Mars when they're at opposition takes only about four minutes for light to get from the Earth to Mars or from Mars to the Earth. A little further away about four to five hundred light years away would be the Pleiades star cluster a grouping of stars within our own Milky Way galaxy and much further away is the Andromeda galaxy more than two million light years away. Now one of the things that we have to look at is what that means in terms of what we're how we're seeing these objects. When we look at Mars we don't see it as it is right now but as it was about four minutes ago because it takes the light from Mars about four minutes to get there. So with a typical one of my uh, videos here if you start at the beginning by the time you get to about the end light has had time to travel from Mars to Earth at its closest. When we talk about the Pleiades, we're looking at 450 years that it takes the light to get here. So light uh, leave that light that we're receiving today actually left the Pleiades in 1570. Uh, roughly it has taken that and it has taken that long. If we think about that the light that we're seeing from the Pleiades today left there decades before Galileo first turned a telescope to the sky. And even more extreme is looking at the Andromeda galaxy, which we see as it was about two and a half million years ago. Now, because things astronomically don't change very quickly, we know that Mars is the same as it was four minutes ago. The Pleiades have not changed much in several hundred years. And even the Andromeda galaxy has probably not changed much in the uh, two and a half million years it has taken the light to get there. But no matter what we look at, we always see things as they were not as they currently are. So that was our picture of the day for October the 13th of 2020. It was titled Mars, Pleiades and Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.